All right, Baldwin House. So the compressor and everything is set up out here. I got an eight gallon compressor over there. This is about a 25 gallon drop tank. So it has an outflow line and an inflow line. And the inflow has a ball valve so I can shut it off. It's just an old pressure tank from like a well, that kind of thing. There's a fan right there and that's pushing air, which would be pretty nice for me. It's gonna help direct that uh, mist, so to speak. There's gonna be a bunch of white mist it's gonna go out the wall. Okay, anything that's inside here is stuff that I'm okay with getting mud on. There's just, I've limited how much stuff is gonna get screwed up. So, um, you can see the window's open. The mist is gonna go out there. I've got all of my mud um, mixed up over here. I've got about, I don't know, about seven gallons and it should be about right it's about like pancake batter uh, one of the biggest challenges with doing a texture job on your own is you don't really have a very good way to hang on to that hopper when you're loading it or if you need to set it down so um, another thing that may need to be done is be able to um, hang on to the camera no. um, you need to be able to control your air volume it's nice to be able to shut it completely off. Uh, and my old valve could, I had to replace that valve this morning. It was evidently damaged and I didn't, um, it, it was damaged in the move, I guess. Um, and then I put a new air valve on there. So when I cleaned the entire gun, you can see that gun's pretty old. It's been around the, around the block. Um, so I have a way to be able to hang on to that using this. Uh, old workmate was my uh, father-in-law's. Most of the time what I'd actually do is use an A-frame six-foot ladder and I use a bungee cord and I'd hang it off of there by that handle. That way I have a helping hand to be able to do that. Um, I've got some bugs up there on the ceiling I gotta do something with. Uh, the ceiling fan, the blades are off. The power is still available to it. Um, and I need to mask that off. But all the blades are off, bulbs are out and then it's bagged up. So as we're talking about bagging or that kind of thing, any um, plastic that can wag around when it's under air power, whether it's on the floor or on the windows or on the door, um, anything that's gonna be wagging around, it's gonna try to come into contact with your walls or your ceilings and it's gonna make a flat spot. Uh, the same thing if you're dragging your air hose because you want to limit how much air hose is inside the room. What happens is you're either going to end up tripping on the doggone stuff or you're going to be moving along and the excess air hose is going to get up against the wall and then it's going to create a flat spot where you're just textured and um, those just aren't good. Over here I have cardboard set up. One is going to be a, bar be a barrier to the floor when I go to spray to keep that plastic from wagging around because it's going to want to try to push up with the air even though it's taped. And then that box right there, it'll join the other one, but I'm going to use it as the test for texture. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up um, a little dealio to where you can see what I'm doing. Okay as I'm loading things up here. So we'll just try, try this chair. And see how that, see how that does for us. Not very good, obviously. Let's see if I can get the angle here. If you're expecting a professional video from me, you're expecting too much. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a professional, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just a guy who happens to do some stuff and put it on YouTube. I don't have to plan on getting paid to do this stuff. Okay, there was a person the other day who was asking about uh, what I was wearing when I got stung by 64, 65 stings by nasty little yellow jackets. This is exactly what I was wearing. Black jeans, rubber boots, they didn't get in, they didn't uh, really get me up and right here by the knee. They didn't get anything in my butt, my legs, my feet, nothing. I was wearing the same shirt and they stung me all up and down across the shoulders, the back, way up high, 60, 60 plus stings. I got some in my hand, my arms, my head. Uh, 
most of it back here up to the shoulders. So, t-shirts, now you know, you be stung from by being horrible. So I'm going to take my mix and I'm just going to put a reasonable amount in the hopper gun. You don't want to put in more than you can reasonably manage. I like to keep the lid on so I'm not using it. Okay, now that that's filled, I have to connect it. I'm going to see where this picture is pointing. I'm going to rotate that box and we'll see if I can get that then dialed in and do a test spray. If you're too thick there, um, your gun won't flow. If you're too thin, it's too runny. If you're too much air, you get a real fine spray. Not enough air, it's really clumpy. So you have to kind of figure it out. Um, another thing, Do a little bit on the wall too, but let me do a little bit on the top. 